Well, instead of smiles, hundreds of parents are frowning on an Oklahoma City dental office. The dentists are accused of performing unnecessary work on low-income children, all for a bigger Medicaid payoff. A Metro mother shares her story with our Jennifer Pierce. And, Jen, there is now a lawsuit against this dental office. Oklahoma uh, Smiles of South Oklahoma City and Small Smiles of Tulsa, they are both named in a lawsuit filed here in Oklahoma County. Hundreds of parents have come forward claiming their children were put through horrific experiences. You never think that a dentist, a kid dentist, would do something to harm your kid. You just trust them. Lorena Hernandez's trust in Oklahoma Smiles was broken. Her three-year-old daughter's teeth, nine in all, were capped. She later learned the work was unnecessary. They just, they just capped them, and I just thought that they were right. And the, they lied, and I guess she didn't need it. She's not alone. A Google search of Oklahoma Smiles turned up a page of complaints. Parents warning other parents of their child's experience. And these are pictures of Oklahoma City children who underwent procedures at Oklahoma Smiles. Parents claim they were bullied into having the work done. People have been threatened that if they don't continue to send their, their child to that um to that dentist, or if they don't authorize services, that they're going to lose Medicaid for their kids. He represents plaintiffs in the lawsuit against Oklahoma Smiles. He has talked to former employees who accuse the dentist of Medicare fraud. This company created incentives that, that compensated dentists for, for the, the amount that they could bill Medicaid. The owner of the office would not comment about practices, but Forba, the company that manages Oklahoma Smiles and Small Smiles, sent us this response. While we do not comment on pending litigation, we take any patient concern seriously and remain committed to providing high-quality dental services to the children who rely on the dental center for their care. <laughs> But this video from inside a Forba managed dentist office is alarming. The young child is strapped to the chair, parents nowhere in sight. Lorena fears her child went through the same thing. She wasn't allowed to be with her daughter during the procedure. I trusted that they were doing their job and they knew what they were doing and that they do this type of work every day. And Lorena says her daughter vomited during the procedure, which she was not even told about. She later learned this after seeing her daughter's medical file. Kelly. All right, Jen, this is not the first time Forba, the management company, has been accused of Medicare fraud. In fact, the company recently agreed to pay $24 million to the federal government and 69 clinics across the country.